Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. For today's lecture, we are going to continue with gravitation. In the previous video, we have done the first part of this subtopic which is the Newton's Law of Gravitation. So now, in this video, we are going to look at the definition of gravitational field strength or sometimes people call it as gravity and later, you will know how to use this equation to calculate the strength of gravitational field at specific point. Gravitational field is a region around a body that has mass. Usually, we put arrows to represent the direction of gravitational field strength. The direction is always towards the center of the body. We all know that the Earth has gravitational field around it. Any object that is located around the Earth will experience different strength of gravitational field depending on the position of the object from the Earth. Let's say a man and elephant located at different position from the Earth. The elephant is further from the Earth compared to the man. Therefore, we can say that the gravitational field strength experienced by the man is greater compared to the strength of gravity experienced by the elephant. However, both man and elephant will be attracted towards the Earth due to the attractive gravitational force. Do you know the value of gravitational field strength on the surface of the Earth? Any object that is located on the surface of the Earth will have the same strength of gravity that has a value approximately equal to 9.81 meter per second squared. Gravitational field strength, or also known as gravitational acceleration, is defined as gravitational force over the mass of an object M placed at any point around a body with mass capital M. The small m represent the object, or also called test mass, located at a certain distance r from the body that is labeled as big M. This body, or sometimes called point mass, is the one that produces gravitational field, for example the Earth. Mathematically, the gravitational field strength can be represented by symbol AG equals to gravitational force over test mass. From this formula, and then we use the formula of gravitational force that acted on test mass, which is F equals to GMM over R square divided with the mass of the test mass, and by cancelling the mass of test mass, we can get a simple formula to calculate AG, which is GM over R square. Here, we really need to differentiate between these two M. The small M represents the test mass and the big M represents the point mass. One thing you should remember when calculating AG, the distance R here should be measured from the center of the point mass. Next, Let's see the SI unit for gravitational field strength. Since the definition of AG is force over mass, therefore we can simply conclude that the unit of AG is Newton per kg. AG can also be written as MS negative 2 because that is the unit of acceleration. Next, we want to see whether AG has direction or not. Since the formula of AG is force over test mass and F is a vector quantity, Therefore, AG is a vector quantity. For those who don't remember what is vector quantity, it's a quantity that has magnitude and direction. If you can remember the diagram of point mass with arrows around it, the arrows are showing the direction of gravitational field strength pointing towards the center of point mass. However, for a specific position of test mass that has gravitational force towards M, the direction of AG is always towards the center of point mass M. We can make a conclusion that AG and F that is acted on test mass will always have the same direction towards point mass. Even if you have a different test mass at a different position from point mass, you will notice that the direction of F and the direction of AG is always the same. So we already finished the first subtopic in this chapter. I hope by now you guys can differentiate between gravitational force and gravitational field strength. It's the end of my video. Hope to see you in the next video and thanks for watching.